Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to a review of Thunderbolt Fantasy. Things are getting really intense as the season is getting ready to draw to a close. So kick back and um, enjoy the review, I guess. Oh, and if you like this, please consider giving it a like. So, the episode begins with Dan Faye entering the Void Junction and meeting up with Lang, who she knows through off-camera adventures. At least I think that's what happened. I mean, they both know Shang, so maybe they've met before? At like some get-together or something? I don't know. Dan Fei says she wants to question Lin about the death of her husband, but Lang says the Void Junction is very dangerous and it would be better if they would team up. So then we jump into the past where Zhao Jun Lin is being attacked by guards. Lu Zhenji sees the sword that will eventually house her soul, and he's all like, what's going on? Why does he have the sword too? Zing Hai says it's a little bit too early for them to interfere, so it would be for the best if they would wait at the bottom of the cliff. So history plays out and Zhao Junlin gets stabbed, with her soul being transferred in the sword to become seven blasphemous deaths in the future. So as she's falling off the cliff, Neko Bitch tells Psycho Monk, hey, catch that corpse. So Psycho Monk uses his extendo arm. I mean, it's more of a grappling hook. But anyway, he catches Zhao Jun Lin and is all like, who is this woman and why is she so important to you? But Zing Hai is like, shut up, we have to hurry, and just walks away. At Seven Sins Tower, Wan is talking to the troops from the Phoenix Light Palace and the Order of the Divine Swarm about Zing Hai's plan to bring back Zhao Jun Lin. And then he reveals himself to be Wan the Centipede, a general of the Order of the Divine Swarm. Both sides are a little bit shocked about this revelation, but I mean, he went from Royal General to Order General with a little spin and his clothes changed, and yeah, he's not doing much to hide his face, so it's a little bit surprising that people from the Order really didn't pick it up? I mean, do they know who General Wan is or not? And if he was walking around in his Order outfit, did the people from the Phoenix Light Palace go, Hey, that General Centipede, he looks a lot like General Wan. Hmm, I wonder if they're related. But he's all like, if you want to, turn me in. I won't question your judgment since I betrayed all of you. But after giving a little bit of a rousing speech, both sides support him. Even though both sides oppose each other, they feel that Zhao Jun Lin is a bigger threat. And there was this one guy from the Order who says to a palace guard, hey, People at the palace killed my son, so I joined the order to get back at you guys. But I just feel that we're dealing with something big here. I'm going to put my hate for you guys aside for a while and work with you. It's for the best. And then everybody just starts chanting, Wan Jun Po! Wan Jun Po! Or actually, Fan Gun Ha! because the Crunchyroll subs give them their Chinese name, which I still find just a little bit confusing. I mean, I'm so used to their Chinese names, reading their Japanese names just kind of makes me go, okay, 
Who is that again? So, Wen has a plan of smashing all the mirror portals so that Zing Hai will be trapped in the void dimension without any way of accessing the outside world. And I was thinking, uh, Wen, I don't think that will work because in an earlier episode, a mirror portal was snapped in half and it still worked perfectly fine. So yeah, broken mirror portals still work even if they're in smaller pieces. Just not hundreds and hundreds of pieces because his plan is utterly destroying them. Just smashing them into their powder. Just little shards that won't reflect anything. And I'm like, oh, that is a good plan now. In the dungeon, Lin is still mentally broken from having seven blasphemous deaths being taken from him. Seeing that he's not too much of a threat anymore, Wan decides to set him free from his shackles. Lin just starts muttering to himself and just snatches the sword off some random guard and just runs away with it. Shang overhears the commotion and tells Wan he can't face Zhao Jun Lin alone. Wan says this is something he has to do by himself because he wants to be the person that stops Zhao Jun Lin. So he keeps Shang locked in the box and says, hey, if you ever get out, we can fight for your swords if you want them back that badly. So back in the past, Zhao Jun Lin is finally resurrected. And while this is happening, Psycho Monk is all like, huh, she's doing necromancy. What do you think of that, princess? P princess, answer me! And Seven Blasphemous Deaths is back to being a normal sword again. And ooh boy, Psycho Monk is pissed! I kind of called that he would not be happy that his beloved sword is now a woman. The newly resurrected demoness tries to calm him down by saying, I can give you ecstasy. I never could as a sword. And he's all like, shut up, bitch. I want my sword waifu back. And she says, but... It is me, you stupid, stupid idiot. So he gets all pissy and tries to attack her, but she is a very powerful demon, so she just knocks him on his ass. Zing Hai is all like, yeah, um, I didn't know he was this much of an idiot. Um, would it be cool with you if we leave him here? And Zhao Jun Lin says, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So now Psycho Monk is trapped in the past. I'm not 100% sure if he'll come back in a future season or if this is the last we'll ever see of him. Because the mirror portal did get left behind as the demon sisters teleported away. There could always be a chance that it could sync up to modern times again, and then he could come back. Gotta get back. Back to the future. Lose NG. Or will he have some kind of crazy Looney Tunes shenanigans where he keeps trying to steal seven blasphemous deaths of that era? And what about this cyborg guy from episode 3 or 4? I mean, this season established the fact that past characters are coming back. So will he come back or was he just a one-off character? 
Or is he a character from Peely that I am unaware of? Anyway, the Demon Sisters return to the present time to find all their mirror portals smashed into thousands of pieces. And Zing Hai's all like, Welp, there goes that plan to activate the Demon Realm. And then, Azabel Fair calls them. And he's all like, Hey, did you forget that there's a lot of hell energy in the Void Dimension right now? Those leaf portals aren't necessary. Just use a random ass door. Yeah, there's a door that just opens up and all these demons are standing behind it. Was that there the whole time? And if so, what was behind it? So yeah, Azabelfer lends them a few dozen troops to attack the surface with. So they just have one more step to go, bringing Juan back from the dead. And this is when things go a little bit crazy. So, Lang and Dan Fei encounter Lin. Dan Fei is posed, ready to attack Lin. But Lin is in no condition to fight, in his whole state of swordless depression. So, Zing Hai is bringing Huan back to life, but as the ritual is complete, something surprises Zing Hai. So, Dan Fei notices that there's something off about Lin, and she just starts critiquing his swordsmanship in the most hilarious way. It turns out that Lin is actually Huan. Lin decided to give him a face-changing bag so he wouldn't have to sneak around as much. And even if Juan's acting seemed a little bit suspicious, Lin is just naturally suspicious, so they wouldn't make anything of it. And it turns out that Zing Hai wasn't resurrecting Juan, but Yi! So Lin managed to convince Yi to put on a face switching bag so he could infiltrate Shang's group. That just leaves Yi, who turns out, of course, to be Lin, as I kind of guessed last episode. I mean, Lin did do a good job of screwing basically everybody over. Because Yi just pulls out Lin's pipe and says something like, Well, Wan's now boring. Hmm. But at least I have someone far more fascinating. What's he going to do to Zhao Jun Lin? Oh, next week is supposedly the finale? I mean, I didn't see anything about an episode count. So I'm assuming season 3 will have 13 episodes, just like seasons 1 and 2 did, but I'm not sure. So, come back next week for the big final fight against Zhao Jun Lin. Hopefully, it will be pretty epic. Catch you next week.